Hello, I'm Stefan. This is my Shape Yoko 2, expanded to 1 meter by 1 meter with the Inventables 400 watt quiet spindle. The work surface does have holes with thread so that I can hold down work. And I would like to show you how I use Blender Cap and Universal G Code Sender to run this machine. This is Blender Cam with all the libraries installed and working perfectly well. This block um, is a simple little 5 cm by 5 cm block that I just quickly sculpted. In Blender Cam, on the settings on this side, I have added a cam operation by clicking on the plus. I set the work area down here. Um, to 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 1 centimeter, which you can see. Um, then I have chosen the waterline experimental function for the cam operation. I'm going to go down in slices of 0.7 of a millimeter, which is workable for this quiet spindle. Uh, the cam operation. Here you can see the step down is 0.7 millimeters, and I am milling around the object with a radius of 6 millimeters. I'm going to start at depth 0, which is where the machine is zeroed, so at the top of the material, the top of the work area will be 0. Um, the cam movement, I, I chose meander. Free movement height, the height that the spindle bit lifts above the work surface, I set as 5 millimeters. Feed rate I have is 20 centimeters. If I go above that, uh, sometimes I lose steps because the cutter has problems cutting at that speed. Um, the cutter doesn't matter here. Uh, the diameter is 6 millimeters, so it's 0 0.006 of a meter. Um, the machine preset, the process, post processor is important. I'm using ISO. Um, don't need to split files but I leave that as normal um, the material size and position estimate from model I leave that on otherwise I get issues so now I can I've got the blended console open on this side if I click calculate path you can see it running on this side Okay, now the path has been generated. You can see it running around the model on this side here. That looks fine to me. So this has already been exported and it's lying in a folder on my drive. In fact, the, the tap file or G-code file is lying in the same folder where I saved my video test blend file. And what I usually do with this is to delete the first uh, five lines up to where the machine actually gets its uh, first coordinates. So I'm going to delete that. And what I'm also going to delete from this line is the speed, the spindle speed over there. Right, now I can save it. Close Blender. Open the Universal G-Code Sender. It's on COM7 is the Arduino. So open, there it makes contact with the Arduino. Um, file mode, I'm going to load that file. Video test block. I'm going to click visualize. There we go, that's the visualization of the paths. Alright, so here I've got my one centimeter in thickness pine wood setup. Just going to insert the last clamp. Go. wood is very solid. I'm going to bring the machine in to the approximate zero position I'm going to be working with and then I will use the universal g-code sender to drop that down. Alright, so I've got my g-code sender. I'm going to set it to one step. I'm going to go down by one I go down by one step. Slowly lower it down. I 
now I'm going to go to point one of the step. Take, I turn on the spindle and you'll hear the quiet spindle running now. That's the quiet spindle on. We go down. I'm going to mark a hole which will be the zero position. So what I've got is I've marked a zero position if the machine should lose connection at any point in time I can come back and line up my spindle with that position. Now I just want to position this on the surface. Go back up by one. Right, the machine is at zero. So in my software, I'm now going to say reset zero. So that the machine, the work position is now at zero for all axes, X, Y, and Z. File mode, I've got my file set up. And I'm going to turn on the spindle. and click on send this gives you an idea of the working um, noise of this spindle when I cut uh, very low cuts or very shallow cuts So that's the final result and that's an idea of how to use the Shapeyoko 2 with Blender Cam and the Universal G-Code Sender software. Thanks for watching.